Yo, what's going on? 60 Simul underscore today. We're here doing a ranked 1v1. I am streaming at the time of this recording. Yes, I know. Um, it's not something I'm going to do consistently, but I didn't want to wait. Um, I woke up late today, so I didn't want to wait. I just wanted to get into this bitch and do my Tank Tuesday. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I love it. So what, is, what, is you, what does Rainian do? I was going to say, what does Ymir do? He does this shit, right? Um, fun fact. You get a free ward now. Everyone everyone gets a free ward. Which I'm going to go ahead and plop over at the red buff. Um, I did go... This isn't my first time playing the map. It's actually my fourth or fifth. Because I went to High res Studios. And I... You know. Gave him my input. Maybe had a little say in what they did with the map. I mean, you know, I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> I went over there and I, I talked to him a bit. Um, but yeah, so basically... If the map is shit, don't blame me though. Okay, for real. Being serious. I picked a Guardian with the best buff clear because this is the way I think you should start this new map. It takes so long for minions to actually meet each other now that you go speed... To blue a hundred percent of the time literally always red buff doesn't spawn till two minutes in um red buff doesn't spawn till two minutes in so you definitely don't have to worry about like losing red i don't know why he warded that but whatever oh fuck new bass step You got- you don't got jump, brother? Fucking cat. Alright, so I'm clearing, I'm pushing, I'm- I'm being aggressive. Get these. We still got some time before, um... Red buff spawns. Does speed give attack speed as well now? I'm not quite sure. Let me look. So these cats take two autos to kill, which is, honest to god, just obnoxious. They got mini calders getting thrown at me. Um, yes, 10% attack speed and movement speed, actually. So it's very, very strong. Red spawns pretty soon, but as you can tell, I got pretty efficient at this map while I was at High res Studios. I kind of read it out. Um, so I've gotten everything on my side before red buff spawns. I clear this wave and then I go to red. Now I'm not saying this is the meta because I don't know what the meta is going to evolve into. But, um, it's definitely the way that I've found that this map should be played the most. In my opinion, it's the best way to play the map. I'm not too scared of this oh, pussy cat. Fucking annoying. You're fucking annoying. Oh, you this. Oh, so close. Damn. Alright, um, I'm just gonna go straight attack speed. I'm not gonna get Bancrofts. Your middle tower is under attack. I actually think speed buff is gonna be the most contested buff in the game over red buff. I think speed buff's better than red. I mean, but also I'm a jungler in Conquest, so I don't know, you know. Take that with a grain of salt, I guess. <laughs> Alright. He got his blue buff. I'm assuming he got his speed as well. Did he get this XP camp? He did. Alright. 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 You ain't going to that XP camp, are you, brother? Alright. 
right? Pretty, like, as you can see, it's definitely a much more farm-heavy map than previously. I'm gonna jump? You gotta jump or no? Oh, nice. Oh, fucking dicks. Alright. Just push our minions. I do kind of want to be here for red buff, but... Instead, I'm just going to get that. Hmm. No, the map does not feel too big. Um, I guess I will pick this up. Oh, you wanted that red buff. He's doing pretty good at, at keeping his objectives. These cats are annoying. I would love a Bancross. Let's see. My speed is up, which should mean his speed is up too. His speed is up. Well, I think his speed is up. I don't really want to fight him. His speed is up. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, free ward. Alright. Uh, can I get full Bancrofts? No, that shit's expensive. Alright. So I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get Telekines. And then I'm gonna get Bancrofts. And of course I want speed buff. With speed buff, and one attack speed item, I already have 1.25 attack speed. It's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. Get two relics now immediately. You get um, your first relic right here. You get to pick. And then um, your second relic is basically just a free ward. On the, or it's a free ward on a timer. And then when you hit level 12, you can choose to keep it or to get a different relic, obviously. Well, that's just a hooligan move, isn't it? Come here, you little hooligan. Gosh darn. Alright. Why am I maxing my 1 instead of my 3? Good question. Alright. Get Bancrofts. Oh, I can get my second relic too. Um... I'm gonna get Blink. I will say that something I wish that they changed quite a bit with this second relic. When you get to level 12, uh, it needs to tell you that you can change it. Like it needs to glow or something. It needs to be easier to recognize that it that you can you can buy your second relic. That's one thing I will say. It's a little bit annoying. Ooh, 
well if I'm not just the damnedest. Oh, he beats. Ow. Boop. Boop. Oh, I guess you guys haven't seen Fire Giant either. Alright, let me show you Fire Giant. It's not really Fire Giant anymore. It's a little, it's like a green tree giant. It's the whole theme of the map is like a, a tree theme. Here you go. He held the same attack pattern. So it's nothing really new, honestly. But he's pretty cool looking. If you leave base or after level 12 for the first time and don't change the ward for something, does it stick? Or can you change it at any point? You can change it at any point. You... Even even when you pass level 12, if you leave the base with the ward relic, you can still sell it and change it at any level you want. So if you want to keep the ward for um, a little extra time, go for it, dude. This map feels so much more farm heavy. Like, a lot of the time in duel with the other map um you would a lot of the time would just be spent in the middle waiting for minions to meet and it finally feels like after three years of the same map it finally feels like you have objectives again that you get to go for oh that blocks off I know I'm tanking, I don't really care. I'll just drop this. See if his speed is up. Not. What about your XP camp? It's not. What about red buff? It is. If you place the buff and then back and get a relic, the reward the ward remains on the map. Um Yes, it does, but the new relic that you get is on cooldown for as long as your ward is on the map. get demonic i i do like this ring this ring is pretty fucking cool 20 percent attack speed 12 percent life seal and um hitting enemy god with a base attack gives you one stack of two percent life steal so if you have five basics this gives you 22 percent life steal that's pretty damn great it's a pretty fucking amazing item uh especially for auto attackers like chronos and soul and shit oof oleron yikes you're in for a spooky time I do have my alt, so I'm gonna just full commit to this. Actually, I don't even need my alt. I just fucking bop. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Ow. I had no cooldowns, dude. Good play, good play. Cat Claws is his alt now. Um, is Runic the same, or can we play Mages in Duel again? No, Runic's the same. Uh, you still can't play Mages. I do want to look at this item, though. What? What? Uh, it's a helmet, right? This item. Oh. I'm going to get this item, because I want to I wanna show you guys what it does. It's pretty fucking nuts. So, basically... It gives you 70 power, 40 physical protection, 100 health, 20 CCR. The base stats are they're all right for a, for a 2000 gold or for a 2400 gold item. It's pretty good the base stats. Um but the real thing is the passive, all right? The passive is fucking nuts. If there are ally minions around you, they gain 10% health and 20% attack speed, and when a minion dies, you gain 5 power for stat or per stack, a maximum of 6 obviously because there's 6 minions in a in a wave. So when your minion wave is not cleared, they have 10% more health and 20% more attack speed. And when they are cleared, this item gives you 100 power. As a defensive item. So, um... 
it's pretty fucking great. I'd say it's probably the new like if you're if you're a physical god or um if not a physical god, sorry, if you're fighting a physical god, you're probably going to want that over void shield, honestly. Because void shield is much more of a late game item now cuz it got percentage uh instead of base. Um <clears throat> but yeah, like I said the Void Shield got percentage increase instead of a uh, normal ass base increase. Or like um like a base 20 reduction or 35 uh prot reduction. It's now 20% prot reduction. I can't show you cuz I'm a magical god, but so Void Shield is much more of a late game item than it is an early game item. So I would much rather go like if you can, obviously. You can't get both on either character, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you can't buy that and the new helm. Should I sell that? No. Well, I don't know. I want to show off the helm, so I'm going to sell it. So, <clears throat> I have 420 power. I have one defensive item, but you'll see when I get... what, Like, you can watch my power spike. When I get there... Just how much better my minions are versus um, how much more power I get just when a minion dies. It's it's insane. I mean, I might as well do this, right? <clears throat> and I have fire minions now, too. And the effect does work on fire minions. Keep that in mind. So it's not like um, it only works on normal minions, but in fact, I get my fire minions to do 20% more attack speed and 10% more health. Pretty nuts. Did they change this at all? Do you have 4% of your health, 2% of your mana? No. So you can see here this little like red ring around them means that I'm buffing them. I suck. Damn, my wall lasts for a long fucking time. Alright, so you can you can see just like straight up. Only my archers and my uh, like my minion wave, if I don't even hit the Titan, it does so much damage and they're so fucking tanky because of my my helmet. It's it's quite insane. Yeah, just with the helmet it's quite insane. They did buff the Titan, by the way. Thank God, the Titan's health is not 4k anymore, it's 6k. So, um, yeah, all, a lot of changes, a lot of insane shit. Um, I don't know, man, it's, it's, it's incredible. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want me to do a map breakdown based on what I think the meta would be and what it will evolve into, let me know in the comments section. And until next time, guys, peace.